Officer Buell? Tank. Hank Stamper. Listen, I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. finally awake sorry I had to secure you but if you're innocent don't act guilty how's your stomach it hurts I didn't pop you that hard you're all right I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up just let me use the bathroom. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. I saw it in the paper. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky, he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go! Please! You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Or turn the lights off. Fuck. Come on. It's only plastic. Fuck. This shit. Daniel must be scared shitless. I can't leave him out there. Looks like he's gone for now. Wonder if I could get more light from it. Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. He's okay. He's okay. Just get out of here. Oh, fuck my bad. I don't even want to think of this asshole reading the same magazines as Dad. Oh, yeah. This racist shithead is a real pillar of the community, all right.
Can you? I'm right here. Are are you okay? I, I, I think so. That old guy chased me into the woods. But I, I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, Inano. You're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. Hey, you think you can open the back door? There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. Tracked him. Of course, the fucking keys are all the way over there. Can you try and open this vent? Figure something out. Sean? I can't hear you. Daniel! Shh. Don't worry. I'm. Right. I need something to break this shit. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. I, I think I saw a big file thing in the workshop with all those bear sculptures. I know you can find it. Okay, I'll try. Daniel. Come on. Let's do this. Yes. Good job, bro. Oh, God. 
I was so scared. Holy shit. Did that mother... Did that asshole hit you? Did he? No. He tried to grab me. But I got away. Okay. We need to cut this off. Fast. How about these? Dude, rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now we gotta get my stuff and go. Daniel? What? What happened? What? What did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now. You fucking little spick! You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your lives! The hell with you! Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Wait. Shit. Where are we going? Sean. Watch out. Over there. Let's go. I don't know. out in the woods. Get in, you two. Hurry up before he catches us. having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. He was a total fucking dickhead. Man, it felt good to beat his ass. Whoa, kid. Maybe he deserved it, but don't do it and don't talk about it. Know what I'm saying? Sorry. I'm just still pissed off. Welcome to Redneck Land. The Saint Seattle no more. Yeah. My dad said there are more Bigfoots out here than Mexicans. No doubt. People out here are more scared of you and your little brother. This is nuts. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <laughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. <sighs> Daniel. What? We saved her. <laughs> We're heroes. Yeah, guess we are. <laughs> so... What should her name be? 
Hey, your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about a uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is, then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. So, how do you make money? <laughs> Spoken like a real American. <laughs> Just curious. Now that we're urban nomads too, if you have any tips. I sell shit. Like a good capitalist. Stories when I can. eBay when I can't. My biggest expense is gas and food, so it's easy. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah. And feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm.
Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call, no pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Daniel just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. I got in a fight. So Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops in, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... Then... Fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be alright. Take a deep breath. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere, and you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? My life feels like... like that town down there. Wiped out, destroyed. Empty. Like I have nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. <sighs> Maybe this is crazy, but... Should we just keep going? Till we get to Mexico? If you think that's the right thing to do, yes. This is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No. No way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad... He always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves.